What's going on guys and welcome to the Wilson Auto Detailing community. I'm opening up this video a little bit different from how I normally do because I just want to make it short, sweet, and to the point for all of the pro detailers out there or even the car enthusiasts who have dirty wheels that look like this. Just to give you guys a little bit of some context for this video, I'm going to be comparing two different wheel cleaners from Jack's Wax that I've come across lately that are uh, just truth be told unbelievable wheel and tire cleaners and I want to show you guys a less traditional way on how to clean this wheel. So let's just jump into it. You guys can see I sprayed some of the Jax Wax HD wheel and tire cleaner onto this wheel to start out. I'm going to get into the details of the product in just a second, but I'm using a detailing brush to knock some of the brake dust away. I am about to switch from using my detail brush to using a drill brush, a medium stiffness round drill brush that is actually going to be coming in the new drill brush set from Wilson Auto Detailing. It's just not out yet because coronavirus has kicked me in the tail when it comes to shipping things internationally. So the first thing people are going to ask is, is this a safe way to deal with wheels? Well, number one, I'm actually cleaning up these four wheels and uh, four tires for a customer who wants to get rid of these wheels and just sell them off. So he's not keeping them and they were never kept in good condition in the first place. So that's actually the reason why I'm having to pull the drill brush out in the first place because they were not kept in good condition. And there is literally no other way to do this. I could have pulled out my steamer, but the steamer actually, in my opinion, kind of introduces even more of a risk. The other thing I want to say is that the interior part, the inner barrel of the part of this wheel is not actually the exact same material as you're going to see on the face of the wheel where we use kind of softer uh, detailing brushes to address it because the clear coat is very easily scratched and all the things of that nature. The other thing to point out here is not only is it not the same exact material, so it doesn't actually scratch the exact same way. It's not the same, I don't want to get into the details, but it's not exactly the same clear coat. It's not exactly the same, um, what would I say, structure. Like if you think of the exterior of a paint, you have the, you know, body, the primer, color coat, clear coat. It's not exactly like that. And so it actually is kind of an appropriate moment to use a drill brush like this that is a bit stiffer. The other thing is that that the brake dust on this wheel is not going to come off in any other way, which is why I'm having to pull it out in the first place. Now I'm switching to my ultra soft uh, drill brush here that's white to use on the face because I actually just want to do it for uh, kind of argument's sake to show you guys how soft it is and um, how effective it can be on something like this. But that being said, you're going to see the after result of both wheels and there's not going to be any scratching on either one of those things, but you see the before and after how powerful this kind of product tool combination is for this wheel. Um, I'm going to take some adhesive remover and get those stickers off uh, in just a second, but I don't think I actually captured that on video. The point of the video here is just to show you guys not only how effective the drill brush is in doing a strategy like this, but also the HD wheel and tire cleaner from Jack's Wax is absolutely unbelievable. It works fantastically. And so I do want to take a second to talk about that product. This is not sponsored by Jack's Wax. This is not sponsored by anybody. This is just a tire and wheel cleaner that quite frankly, I think gives even the acidic wheel cleaners that I tend to default to a huge run for their money. So I wanted to show you guys another scenario where I use the same exact HD Jack's Wax wheel and tire cleaner on a tire instead of on a wheel. And I use it on the wheel well as well, so I'm just going to scrub that really simply. And then scrub the sidewall of the tire really simply with the soft feathered wheel brush, or I'm sorry, soft feathered wheel well brush that I'm using right here. And then I simply pressure wash it off. But when you do this, you're looking for that awesome matte black appearance before you dress the tire. And you guys can even peek into the wheel well and see how clean that is. But that appearance right there, if you have detailed cars at any level whatsoever, that matte black that you're seeing right here, that is like the detailer's dream before you actually start to dress the tire. Now here I'm going to be using the Jack's Wax Ultimate Wheel Cleaner. This is their green wheel cleaner. The main difference here between these two products, I know I'm talking really fast by the way, <laughs> sorry, if you guys like all of the information that I'm throwing at you right now in this fire hose way, smash the YouTube like button so that it helps this video in the algorithm. Smash the like button. Guys, this wheel cleaner here, this green wheel cleaner, the main reason people really like it is because not only is it super effective, um, but it also kind of turns purple like a lot of iron removers do, which is kind of characteristic of a pretty powerful chemical. You guys know if you've used iron removers at any level, um, that 
they, they sort of turn that maroon purple fuchsia color when they're picking up those decontam or those contaminants that kind of iron fallout rail dust sort of thing and that's actually what's happening on the wheel here the biggest difference between these two products is that the one I'm using right here the traditional Jax wax wheel cleaner cannot be used on tires it is strictly a wheel cleaner um, whereas the Jax wax HD wheel cleaner can be used on wheels tires and it works unbelievably on both of them. The other thing I will say is I do prefer the Jax Wax HD wheel cleaner. It has become kind of my default wheel cleaner nowadays because it's been so unbelievable as far as cleaning goes. And so I am going to hook up links to both of these products in the YouTube description box below. Unfortunately, I don't have an affiliate link to JaxWax.com or anything. So I make no money off of any of this uh, whatsoever. So, uh, but I will put those links below so you guys can find those products pretty simple. I really just wanted to put out this video real fast to update you guys because it's been something I've been implementing in my detailing business uh, recently and I'm just so blown away by it that I had to tell you guys about it. So guys, once again, this is not necessarily me trying to explain how to clean wheels with a drill brush, but it is me kind of showing you guys that yes, this is actually a great add-on service to your detailing business. My customer wanted these wheels clean. They weren't even attached to the car. They were just in their garage. Um, and he was like, hey, can you do something with these? I'm trying to get them off my hands. And it was like, bing, bada, bam, right there. Like additional income, increasing profitability, two seconds. It doesn't take a ton of my time. And it's very, very easy when you have the right products. You guys are going to see the after of this Jax Wax green wheel cleaner and uh, I actually do go ahead and even after I closed out this video I clean it a bit more because it wasn't quite as effective as quickly as the orange HD wheel cleaner was so I did have to spend a little bit more time because there is some of that kind of corrosive um, black brake dust still in some of those areas but I spent about the same time on this wheel as I did the other one so I just wanted you guys to see the kind of results I got product versus product because I, I implement the same drill brush strategy, the same cleaning strategy. So the only variable really is the drill brush used here. Guys, sorry for talking so fast. Thank you so much. If you like this quick little fire hose video, smash the like button and help the video in the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed, and I will see you guys in the next video.